John Feigenbaum, President of David Lawrence Rare Coins, VLRC Auctions, and Dominion Grading Service. If you're watching this video, then you are one of our beta testers for the new Collection Manager software that we've been developing for over six months here, and we're very excited about this new product, and we appreciate very much you're willing to take a look at it and give it a shot and give us your feedback. My email address is john at davidlawrence.com, and anytime you can uh, send me an email, I would greatly appreciate it with any feedback you have, and I'll tell you in this video a quick introduction about the software. This, this, this is not the video we'll use uh, in its final form, so it's going to be pretty rough around the edges, and also the software has probably some ways to go once we get your feedback. So just want to give you here a quick introduction to the concept of how we how we built the software and what we expect from it and what you can you can hope for. Uh, we call it the collection manager software and the basic concept is to allow you the collector to store the contents of your collection and and um, also get alerted you know for items that you want to add later to your set so if you collect uh, v nickels for example and you you can assign the entire set to your want list or to your collection list and then fill in the coins that you have and later on you can get a, a quick viewing that david lawrence would have a few coins you need for your set or you can go print out a report take it to a coin show and see that you need seven different dates and uh, you'll have a nice organized way of looking at it. There's also some really graceful image uploading software so you can attach images to your collection and watch it in slideshow format. There's exports for putting this all your data out to uh, an Excel spreadsheet for example and you can import from other sources like uh, especially from the David Lawrence purchase history you can you know import all your data and, and the images from our uh, catalog and start from there. So We've put a lot of effort into making the software appear very simple, but it's very complicated on the back end. We're sure that there's some things that need to be tweaked and fixed, so we really will appreciate your feedback as you go through it. Uh, for starters, the software is, is basically engineered along three different levels. The, the, the first biggest level is it's called you, you build collections, and you can have multiple collections within your your database for example you can have a collection for if you have three children you could have uh, child A, child B, child C's collection and then within each collection you can have as many sets as you want and sets are typically defined as groupings of like kinds like Indian pennies or v-nickels or so on but you can combine different series into a single set and you can have as many sets as you want within as many collections as you have so the software is designed to be extremely flexible and wide open once you get past the set level, you need to add containers into the sets, and the containers are essentially want-listed items. So going to a V-nickle uh, set example, if you have a set of V-nickles, you can, you can automatically have the software create a template of all the, all the different items in the V-nickle set, and you can define the grading services and the grade ranges you're interested in, and the, the software will automatically build out a framework of the vehicle set and then later and these are all called containers later you come into the next step and you can add items to the container so for example if you have a 1912s nickel in the container in pcgs ms63 to 65 and then you have a coin you can you add that coin into the container you can't add a coin into the set without there being container first so once you get used to the, uh, the terminology of container, I think the whole process gets a lot easier and we really couldn't think of a better name for it than container. So that's our, uh, again, within beta testing, that's our terminology unless we come up with something better. Uh, once you've created uh, these sets and containers and added items, you are then able to add uh, individual pictures, up to three pictures per item within your, within your set. So for the 12S nickel example, you can add uh, a slab image, an obverse image, and a reverse image, for example, and you can go through your entire collection and add all these images. And later, one of the one of the more, I think, more beautiful features of the software is this ability to view a slideshow, which is a panorama of all the different coins in your sets and these different images. It's really a neat little feature. As time goes on, we'll add a lot more of these kinds of features. Uh, you know. 
from, from slideshows to certain kinds of uh, data exporting and so on. One of the, the things we've added already is DLRC importing of, of your inventory. So everything you've ever bought from David Lawrence can be automatically added into your collection and you're able to assign it to different sets and move things around. So the pictures that from the David Lawrence site will actually come in with the coins. And I think it's a great way to start. Obviously, uh, as a beta tester, you've done business with us before, and we would certainly expect that you'll want to make use of this import feature on the early uh, as you get started. Um, other features are worth noting is you know we're gonna we're gonna uh, streamline the software and have it work directly with want listing applications we've created in the past. So you are able to get notifications on items you need in your collection when you want to. You'll be able to turn this feature off so you're not inundated and you don't feel like we're overwhelming you with uh, marketing campaigns or anything like that. It's, uh, it's our desire to obviously use this software to help you to continue to uh, add business to us, you know, to, to our website and so on, but we're trying to do this in a graceful manner and not be too overwhelming. For, I think for, for today, that's the, that's the message I want to send as a beta tester. This leaves you with a lot to be desired, I'm sure, but um, hopefully the software is simple and written gracefully enough that, that you will be able to move around easily and understand what we're doing. My, again, my email address is john, J-O-H-N, at davidlawrence.com, and I would love to hear from you. And you can also call me with your feedback. The phone number is 800-776-0560, and I'm extension 104. Thank you very much for being a tester for us, and we look forward to getting your comments and your feedback.